Hey guys, it's happening. So, just picked this up on eBay, and it's a uh, 4U uh, mining case. Uh, actually, I bought two of these. One was by Roswell, and uh, this one actually looked identical, but it doesn't seem like it's made by Roswell. Roswell, Roswell. Um, but they look almost identical. So, let's open this up. This thing was about $80 free shipping. And yeah, I want to put it in a case because it's going to go in a data center. And I don't want like an open open case like that over there, you know. It's sitting in a server rack. I guess I'd like to mount it. It's a 19 inch rack. You know, like a full blown like four post server rack. I'll show you that when I get installed. But it's pretty cool. It has a rack mount. We'll open this one. I'll put it on my desk bench. But it has a little key lock in the front. But I'll show you all the features of this thing. So if you saw it on eBay and you're wondering what it looked like, there it is. All right, so this little key case, key in the front here, four large fans. Hopefully it came with the fans, yeah. The Roswell one didn't, it was cheaper. It's like 40, 50 bucks, but they said it was gonna take a month to ship, so. Okay, these, that kinda sucks. The four screws, look at the case cover off, the top off. I mean, I like when you can just slide it off. There's like a latch you can open it up because, you know, how are you going to get a screw? If this thing's actually in the server rack and you want to open this up to maintain it, you have to pull the server out completely out of the rack to get a screwdriver in there. So that's kind of a, that's no good. All right, so that's, it came with two rear fans, 80 millimeter. And these ones look like 1200 millimeter. All right, that's cool. Um, Definitely kind of weird here. This is actually like for the, the top support, so that's kind of odd right there. I don't like that. It should actually have a lip that goes underneath here. Well, I guess it did, but it's it's just kind of weird. It's like a to prevent you from crushing it on my video cards, I guess. All right, so I probably won't be putting the extra fans. I think the three in the front is enough to blow the hot air past the, the GPUs. Uh, if I didn't mention it, this is a six GPU case, supposedly. I mean, I might be able to get a few more in there, but um, I'm gonna get the motherboard. I'm gonna be using a uh, Gigabyte H110D3A. Put that in there. So it probably came with a box of standoffs and stuff. So I'm gonna get the motherboard in there real quick and uh, get it going. So I'm gonna be putting a uh, 1200 watt Corsair power spine there, which I have. Actually, the guts of this system are gonna be coming from this right here. Um, the 6 GP rig. But I'm actually going to be switching out the motherboard to a new motherboard. Alright, so this thing actually will support a full length motherboard. So if you have one of those really large like gaming motherboards, it, this will fit in here. It has a 3.5 inch hard drive slot. So I'm using M2 drive, so I'm not going to be using that. Cool. One of the things when I bought this motherboard online, uh, used on eBay, I made sure it actually had the I.O. plate. Uh, because these things are actually hard to find. Well, I mean, the, to, to rebuy one of these is like the cost of the motherboard. Because I bought the motherboard for 35 bucks. So, get the aisle plate on there. Like that. And yeah, because a lot of these mining motherboards, they don't have the aisle plate. So, um, these are mainly designed to go in those, like, the, people put them in those uh, open air racks, frames. Alright, I'm not sure if I said this or not, but I'm not going to be using these five extra fans here. Uh, because the actual individual GPUs have their own uh, cooler and fan. So I just want to get the hot air blown past here. You know, I mean, I think all these extra fans over... Like, if, if the... They do actually sell, like, those mining GPUs that don't actually have the fan on the actual heat sink. So I'd probably run all these fans if I had one of those, but... Yeah, you don't need all the extra stuff. It's just going to be uh, putting extra strain in your power supply. Right, so I put my test power supply in here. I want, I want to test the fans. Just to see if they work. See if they're making any noise. I also want to verify the connectors in the front here, so let me power out this on here. And then, I don't even know where the power switch is. Right there. Well, that's reset powers right there. There it is. Alright. Cool, I'm glad they're quiet. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use these back two or not. I might, but we'll see. Like I said, the whole point is to create a... I don't need a strong draw, but just a draw to blow the hot air out. 
and allow new air, cool air to come from the front to cool off the GPUs. Uh, on the uh, the ad, it said six GPU. It looks like you could do eight GPU, or you can flip it around. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I were to take this bar out and flip it around, it'd be one, two, four, five, six. So yeah, this thing can actually hold eight GPUs. My power supply is not big enough for that. I mean, I only have a twelve hundred watt. So if I bumped it up to sixteen hundred watt, I could probably add a couple more GPUs. All right, so this actually this case is, is pretty cool. I mean, besides the fact that you can go six card, eight card, but also you can totally move them around where you want them high, low, back, the support bracket here or there or forward. So it's definitely pretty cool. Um, I took the extra fan thing out um, since I'm not I'm gonna try not to run fans here, but uh, the thing is I don't want it in there to impede airflow. If it's actually I'm not gonna have fans in it. So um, all right. All right, so I'm happy to make sure getting that thing to clear the back of that USB cable right there on the back support bracket. I'm going to figure out a solution. Maybe you got to 3D print something or maybe a way to get that up maybe. Put like a, put like a riser in the back maybe. I'm not sure. Put a riser up there, I'm not sure. Just to bring it up a little bit. Give it some support but not put strain on that USB cable right there. All right. I think I figured out the solution here. So I had to move this back. I had to flip that around. And there actually is on the back of the bottom of that PCI riser. There is a uh, rubber protection pad. So it's not going to hopefully uh, conduct electricity. All right. Like that. It's pretty parallel. Perfect. All right. There it is. Ready to go. First fire. Let's get it going. Power, power button. Hi right, guys, there it is. Nice looking case. Filter in the front. All right, then we're going into Linux. Hi, OS. All right, the day has come, so I got to move this off my test bench here and put it in the data center. Yeah, well, that's gonna be a lot cooler there and. Obviously, it's filtered air, more redundant power, and uh, yeah, the power, we're not being, you know, it's on a fixed circuit, power circuit, so. All right, cool, get it going. All right, take a look. All right. Ooh. 